What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. Since I'm on Halloween ends in this video here again today, talking about this new trailer that kind of snuck its way. I'll call it a sneak peek that snuck its way. Not snuck, but it was a part of the NBC special that came on last night. And it was it's going to be available on Peacock at some point. And I heard some people say there was a moment with Jamie Lee Curtis and how she was, again, hyping up the movie. And she just got very emotional, rightfully so, because, again, it really doesn't seem like she will be revisiting this franchise ever again or this character who we know helped launch her career. Uh, so we got to look at Halloween ends again. I'm also going to talk about what David Gordon Green had to say about what he did with kills and touch on the box office projections that are out here, too that say this is going to do much more than halloween kills domestically so when it relates to this footage that came out from the nbc special last night i'll call it a new trailer sneak peek whatever it gave us another look at the movie it was like a minute and 52 seconds there's an hd version you can find over on reddit or somewhere on twitter i'm sure or even youtube if you type it in um we get to see mostly willie the kid i would say uh giving a voiceover at the start of the uh, start of the footage uh and then we get more shots of Haddonfield, see other shots of things we've already seen. The woman who gets pinned to the bulletin board, Corey, Allison, Michael, Lori, you know, the usual sewer stuff. But there's one instance in this in this footage that seems to confirm to me that Michael Myers and Corey Cunningham will be teaming up. There's like a split second when it happens where Michael is lunging himself at someone and in the background, now I might have been seeing something, but I'm pretty certain that was Corey Cunningham standing behind Michael. It's a very quick thing. It's a very quick thing that you might have to put the put this little footage in like a slow motion version so you can catch it, but uh, or slow it down, slow the pacing down of the video so you can catch it. It's clearly someone behind michael and it looks like Corey cunningham so there you have it if that was Corey that i spotted in this footage there there you have it something is going to go down with Corey and michael so many people for whatever reason i don't know why they were convincing themselves that there's nothing that's going to happen between these two even though things kept on lining up and when i i mean people were convincing themselves it's not going to happen i mean people who are actively still watching videos like this looking up track list titles looking up things on reddit but yet they kept convincing themselves it's not going to happen yes it is <laughs> it's, it's it's highlighted in the track listing by one specific title Corey and michael it's highlighted in the trailer the very first one we got back in july it's highlighted very profoundly in that one where we see michael wearing a ring something we've never seen him do in the past but then in another quick snippet of same trailer we see Corey wearing a a ring or someone who we at the time assumed was Corey wearing a ring and then so many other things that were just not adding up the fingers and the lack the the regrowth of said fingers even though we that's not going to happen his fingers are still <laughs> missing all that has lined up with someone has put on this man's clothes and he's going to go after them and get his freaking clothes back and that someone is Corey cunningham and michael myers is going to f him up the team up stuff i would say might have been that that the first trailer kind of definitely solidified the copycat stuff everything else after that has more than enough profoundly demonstrated that they are going to be working together in some fashion who is this person that michael and corey are working together to kill in this footage i'm going to assume this might be a cop character uh because there is also a track called kill the cop so is this the cop that might be giving Lori, not Lori, but corey problems but uh we'll all we'll all get of course get our answers when this movie releases in the coming weeks or the coming couple weeks because what it comes out not this week but next week or maybe the week after but uh Corey cunningham and michael myers they are going to get it on they are going to be thick as thieves and then something happens midway through where maybe michael says you know what i'm done with this this kid is annoying he stole my mask now uh well Corey might be the one that ultimately triggers this when he's when he might have a problem with michael and how he's going about killing people hey you're not killing the people i want to kill so uh you're not doing enough you won't come out of the sewer either because i think Corey at first maybe will try to get michael to come out of the sewer but michael won't do it so Corey's like you know what bro i'm gonna take this old man's mask <laughs> He won't he doesn't have to get up and go but i do i'm gonna go take out the people who caused me so much so much trauma and so much uh 
so much trouble in Haddonfield because bringing them to the sewers, that's too much work. I'm just going to get it done myself. I'm going to dress up as Michael Myers, though, to frame him. So he does that. He decides to do that. Michael says, you know what? This kid has stolen my clothes and I'm going to go get my mask back from him because we know that's what will get Michael up and going. His mask. He loves that mask. But uh, jumping into the box office, apparently the box office projections for Halloween Ends has this movie doing like $130 million domestically right now uh, by the time the domestic run is over. Now, all I can say about this is this just means people love they love a good start and they love a good finish. People love a good return with Halloween 2018. They love when things come back and people will show up when things end if you if you market them right. Or at least garner interest, which Michael Myers in and of itself with very little marketing that many people think went into this. Michael Myers himself is a big selling point, very big selling point with the way the 2018 movie over ex or exceeded expectations. This doesn't shock me really too much. And this is very impressive considering that, again, the Peacock deal that many people were so concerned about. Obviously, yes, I can admit if we didn't have the Peacock thing, this would be making more money at the domestic box office. Sure, I'll say that. But still, this is more than enough for, for a movie that is closing out this current iteration of Michael Myers as we know it. David Gordon Green has also stated that he is proud of what came from his Halloween Kills movie. Uh, he says it turned out to be exactly how he envisioned it or wanted it to be. He revealed this in a recent interview. I'll try to leave that a link to this in the description. All I can say about that is you set out to make a movie that was Carnage Candy with lackluster character work in the mix i mean that's that's fine if you set out to do that but at the end of the day that carnage candy could have still existed with a compelling set of characters to follow halloween kills does a very big disservice to the legacy stars in a lot of ways it's kind of like okay well why is Lori strode still here you know you can find her to a bed and then on top of that, we know that this is supposed to be her resting point, but it's kind of ruined since you decided, you know, hey, let's do this time jump four year later. Halloween Kills is not a very good movie. It was just something that was still better than some of the other awful ones. Let me know what you guys think about all this bit down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Turn on post notification. I never miss video in the description. I will have links to all my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there are any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.